Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand merge sort time complexity using master's method. So this is uh, uh, in our previous video, we have discussed the time complexity of merge sort using substitution method. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, we'll try to solve this. <coughs> I will try to find the merge sort time complexity by using the master's method and it is one of the method uh, where the recurrence relations can be solved. So merge sort is a recursive algorithm. So the recurrence relation for the merge sort is this is the recurrence relation and how this recurrence relation has been derived already explained in our previous video. So that's why uh, please watch that video and come back here and uh, now based upon this recurrence relation we have to see these whether these conditions are getting satisfied or not or whether this equation is in this form or not if it is in the form and it is satisfying all these conditions then we have to go for these options and uh, we have to choose the right option and from there we are going to get the final recurrence uh, efficiency of the algorithm so here a into t of n by b is it in that form yes 2 into t of n by 2 see here he, here a is equal to 2 and b is also equal to 2 now uh, theta of so theta of in the sense uh, if theta is there or not and this is going to take theta time only so n number of comparisons is done so uh, n power k n power k means it is uh, here n power 1 n power 1 means the value of k is equal to sorry the value of k is equal to 1 okay and log power p g p of n here log uh, power p of n means here if the value of p is equal to 0 then this one will be this one will not be there right so the value of p is equal to 0 it may not be there but p where the value of p is equal to 0 means there is no such log is not existing so the value of p is equal to 0 okay now we have to check for these conditions the equation uh, the given equation is in this form yes it is in that form next we have to check for these conditions it is a greater than or equal to 1 yes a is equal to 2 means it is greater than or equal to 1 b greater than 1 yes it is true and k is equal to 1 so uh, k should be greater than or equal to 0 yes it is true and uh, next p is equal to 0 p is any real number 0 is a real number so it is accepted so it is solving it is satisfying all these conditions now we have to go for this we have to find a and b power k and we have to see in which conditions does it fall is it greater than is it equal to or is it less than so what is value of a 2 b power k means 2 power 1 which is 2 now both of them are equal if both of them are equal then this condition is getting satisfied if this is true then we have to go for these options how the p is behaving looking like p is greater than so what is the value of p p is equal to 0 it means that p is greater than minus 1 yes it is true now this is the time complexity of the algorithm now let's substitute the values of a and b in this corresponding equation and see how it is going to behave like n power log a base b log a base b log 2 base 2 which is going to be 1 into log power p plus 1 it is 0 plus 1 which is 1 n okay so if you solve this t of n is equal to t of n is equal to this one log 2 base 2 means it is n log power 0 plus 1 which is 1 and this is n so it is going to be n log n so we have seen that already so the efficiency of the merge sort is and here theta is there the symbol is theta theta of n log n okay so this is the efficiency of merge sort and we have solved it by using master's method hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching